<laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Baby Ness, and um, today we're gonna be doing an interview. It's a little, it's kind of all over the place, but the number one thing is desire. So um, that's just one thing. It's also uh, d desire has a lot to do with manifesting, and also there's a couple of psych psychology questions, social psychology. So um, I kind of want to see what people think about certain questions. So number one is attraction. Uh, what makes you attracted to a man or or a woman? You know, whatever you're into. Can we answer for other people? Because she's attracted to red flags. That's actually. Oh, is she? Yeah. No. Like walking once, no. like like no. imagine if there's like a really like no. mm -hmm. really big red flag and then you mm -hmm. have like legs. Like that will say something yeah. like he seemed normal. I don't like him. Yeah, like he seemed like a normal put together person who had his mm -hmm. finances and mental health in order. He's really, you know, not it for me. Meanwhile, like, yeah. oh, this yeah. person has ignored me for three days. I really want to hook oh, up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, what would you say? Oh, she says, like, if this person has ignored me for three days, I really want to, like, hook up with them. I've never said that. Those words have never come <laughs> oh, really? out of my mouth. <laughs> 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 so, so um, I, are you her boyfriend or? No. Oh, you're not. No. Okay, We're so. All siblings. Oh, really? <laughs> wow, that's tight. <laughs> well, nice family. Thank you. Um. Okay, so you like red flags, and that's interesting, you know. Uh. <laughs> I wouldn't call them red flags. Uh. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't it's. Only some you yeah. know what? Okay, so I'm gonna kind of focus on you. Um, are you a bad girl or a good girl? Uh, I would say I'm in the middle. Mm. You're in the middle? That means, <laughs> I think that means bad. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I, I, I'm very, I don't know, I, I'd say it's very average. Cat is one okay, of okay. So, no, 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 like, um. Bad driver, good girl. I am a good <laughs> 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 She's throwing her under the bus. She's mad I'm not going to our <laughs> This information is biased. Is it? Oh. Yeah, you guys are being biased against her because you kind of know her, I guess. Yeah, or, that's true. So I, that's a that's a big deal here for the interview. Yeah. Um. So we'll just keep it fun. I mean, I guess they're gonna be biased. I'll have to catch you alone some other time. Maybe we can get a better interview. However, uh. Yeah, so sometimes we can be biased, and then so our what we say is influenced by whoever's around us, mm -hmm. and that's social psychology, you know. Yeah. So like for example, people like I have tattoos, and sometimes people talk to me really cool, and then when there's other people around, they just won't talk to me. Like you know, I'm like the felon in the room, or you know, or whatever, whatever. So but I, I really don't care. But it's interesting. So we're learning, you know. Yeah, um, or like I can talk about my friend instead of talking about myself. That's, that's, that's a lot just easier. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. High five. Yeah. So you, you you put all the like uh, the shade on somebody else <laughs> so people don't focus on your shade. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the next one's gonna get a little bit trivial, um, but I want to answer from each and every one of you. Okay. We'll start with you. What turns you on? Sex. <laughs> okay. No. No. But like before. <laughs> Hair? Really? That is accurate. Really? Oh, cool, yeah. On the okay. Head. Yeah. Okay, interesting. That's a good answer. You know, I've actually had a lot of girlfriends. They're like, oh, I love your hair, you know, and whatever, you know, but yeah, you know, it's cool. That, that's right. That's a valid answer. What about you? Who? Me? Uh, what's your name? I'm Kat. Kat. Yeah. What about you, Kat? Um, really good person. Mm. No, they ignore me. Yeah. <laughs> Full circle, baby. <laughs> I, uh, no, I'd say, I'd, say, I'd say a really good personality. Like, mm -hmm. someone who's funny, you know. For sure, makes you laugh? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, interesting, interesting. All right, and you? I don't know, I mean, uh, a certain personality probably. Like, people who are really confident, I tend mm -hmm. to be a pretty outgoing person, and so I'm used to being the one that talks to people first, so if somebody else talks to me first, I generally find that attractive. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Sarah. Sarah. Are we doing what is attractive or what turns us on? What that's... turns you on, like the switch, like, you know, like, um, sexually? Submissiveness. 
Submissiveness. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. to, like, because I have a partner of, mm -hmm. like, three years, so, like, yeah. I don't feel the need to always, like, have to have, like, an attraction when I'm already attracted to everything, so, mm -hmm. but the turn on is, like, when I'm in charge. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, cool, cool. The next one is very simple question but it relates to love do you guys believe in true love yes I think for so. sure and everyone and her heart sucks <laughs> oh i love your socks let's get a close-up <laughs> i always wear funny socks myself okay so oh wow that's tight um okay so but, <laughs> no, no, no. When you mean by true love, are you, you mean like you only can like truly love one person? Or is it just yeah. that? Yeah. No, no. Well, like there's love, love for love everyone, love, love for humanity. But I mean like for one partner, you know? Do you believe that there's... One person? Okay. Yeah. You know, I think it's called monogamy. Ooh, I think. that's not true love. <laughs> well, it's not, well, I don't know the word. So I'm learning just like you guys are. Are you so. talking about the cause for an unconditional love for one person? Mm -hmm. and yeah, kind of like mar to marriage. Keep that throughout in a, a relationship. Yeah, marriage love, you know? Like, oh man, I love you, you know, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, type of thing. Life <laughs> <laughs> And that's the end of the interview. <laughs> Alright, um. Okay, I have a couple. Let me just ask you, like, one more question. Oh, do you think people are stupid? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a person can be smart, but people are mm -hmm. stupid. Yeah. yeah. Okay, can you elaborate? A single person has the capability of being an intelligent individual, mm -hmm. but the masses play on each other, and they cause chaos on each other, and they don't think clearly, and I don't think a group can be smarter than a single person. So much science. Wow, that's so so like that's that's called social psychology. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. I'm talking about mass panic. Yeah. Oh, are you? <laughs> well, it's interesting. You're talking about uh, the, 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 what's it called? Like the statistics. I'm talking about uh, <laughs> building up. I, I forget the exact term, but it has to do with, I think it's called like group genius, and essentially it's where mm. the average, so like there's game shows, right? And so if you have like Ask the Audience, mm. that is actually a really powerful tool because on average, if you get enough people and you ask them all the same question, if there's enough yeah. people in a room, the majority will end up being correct, which is pretty interesting. So there's both, uh, on one end, if you get enough people together, they'll play off of one another, emotions will rise, and you'll get a lot of really idiotic responses. However, there is a phenomena where, just based off of statistics, you also get a lot of really good answers if you ask enough people. Or like, right. when you're working in a group, the sum of its parts, mm -hmm. the whole can be greater than the sum of its parts, because mm -hmm. they work together. Right. It depends on the group. But to answer your question, absolutely, people can be stupid. Yes. Okay. yes. Cool. Cool. People can also be smart. How do you feel about people who think people are stupid? Uh, we're great. Well, I, I just, yeah, we're pretty good. Well, see, we're yeah, not, I, I'm fine. <laughs> but, but, but hold on, hold on, though. So now, now I think that we would we would be biased with our answer, wouldn't we? Sure. Because you are those people. I'm not saying I'm so, so smarter than anyone. Like, no, 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 it, is, <laughs> are they pessimists or are they realists? Um. Well, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe a different way of asking that. Wait, wait, wait. Your answer was different than theirs, wasn't it? I think my answer was also different. Okay, okay. So let's start with you. How, uh, how do you feel about people that think people are stupid? They're pessimists or realists? Okay. Uh, that's actually a good question. You know, are they pessimists or realists? I guess we gotta, I gotta adjust the questions. <laughs> um, give me an example of each. What? A pessimist, like, so like, um, 
So how do you feel about people who think people are stupid and you're asking, are they pessimists? Well, just in general, let's just keep it general yeah. uh, to just a person. You know, you don't really know them. But for example, like, let's just say, I think people are stupid. What would you think about me? More better? Yeah, like, if you go into the situation not knowing a lot, but you expect it to come out bad, you're going to be a pessimist. But if you are trying to cut the person slack and you're trying to give them more credit, then you're mm. just a realist. You're like, yeah, well, people are stupid. Like, of course, they're going to make the right decision. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, I, have, I have a question for you for as far as real, being a realist. Um, if you're a realist, does that keep you from believing in things that are done through faith? Which, because realism is done with like raw fucking horsepower type shit, right? Like money, like let's get it, you know, type of shit, right? But then there's also the manifesting uh, culture that, you know, believes in believing and in having faith and trusting, you know? So, yeah. Um, I'm not a realist, um, so I can't speak for them, mm. but I feel like it's like they have the thoughts of prepare for the best, but anticipate the worst, and right. when they prepare for the best, that can be their optimism. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, did you have something to say? I am a realist. You're a realist, I, okay. I, I, everyone has always told me that I kind of can see it in myself. But for me, anything that I see or what, anything that happens around me is what it is. I'm never mm -hmm. going to be more happy about something or more, mm -hmm. like, un, like, you know, because... If it happens, it ha it's something that happened. It's not mm. super great. It's not something horrible. Like, it's mm. just, it happened. So, right, right. with people just saying people are stupid, someone just saying people are stupid, like, obviously, we were joking about it for the most part, but mm. if you just say that and have nothing behind you to back up what you're saying, then that is stupid, because that's just kind of oh, okay. how you see things. Okay, cool. I like your, your different perspective. Okay, so... Uh, Back on you guys. Okay, so real quick. Oh, yeah. Can you give me your answer real quick? Oh, um, I was going to say, I don't think they're stupid people. I think people just make stupid decisions, and their choices are stupid, but I don't think they're stupid people. Awesome. Okay, uh, you want to elaborate or anything you want to share before we move to the next question? Me? Yes. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it depends on your definition of what a stupid person means. Like, mm -hmm. the definition of a stupid person is that they are inherently, like, less than. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. But I think that there's a lot of misinformation in the world and that yeah. on the continuum, a lot of people don't make the best decision. And so when I say they're stupid people, it's just sort of, I mean, I, I say it a little bit jokingly, but I think it's true in that there's a lot of people who just aren't informed in the way that they live their lives and the decisions that they make. So it's not that yeah, they yeah, right, right. as a person are less than mm. or bad or stupid or dumb or anything like that. Yeah. But on the continuum, yes, there are not a lot of really intelligent people making really good choices every single day. Like, you don't go out into society mm. and just, I don't know, like, there's a lot of things you can't do in this world because mm. on mm. the largest scale, people don't know what they're doing, right? Like, if right, right. you were going to go run out into the street, mm. uh, you would never do that because there's a really high chance that people aren't good enough drivers to stop for you, right? So right, I guess yeah. my point is just that the way that our society is structured, most people aren't making mm. decisions intelligently. It doesn't mean that yeah. they're stupid inherently as an individual. It just means that, yeah, it means that you can't do something and expect people to know what they're doing. Expect people to be smart. Expect people to see their flaws. Okay, cool. Thank you, bro. Uh, and I can tell you guys are a smart group, and you guys are for the betterness or wellness of humanity, I guess I could say. 
So that's awesome. I admire that about you guys. I also admire how close you guys are, you know? <laughs> you know I don't know if you guys are adopted siblings or whatever, but you guys are fucking Pretty awesome. Much. Pretty much, yeah. Cool, cool. Um, okay, so let me see. Why do you like people? I don't. You don't? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you? I, but I am a humanitarian. Like, I, I'm a, I hate sure. people, but I am a humanitarian. <laughs> that's, I think that's contradicting, right. but... Yeah, no, 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 exactly. I, it's valid, though, you can, yeah. you know? If, like, I feel so much people who struggle, and, you know, it, it, it hurts me, you know? Yeah. I, I don't like what we think. Mm-hmm. I feel like humans think they're all powerful and we are the best. And yeah. Like, I think we manage to. You're fine. I'm on your side for sure. I always say that I love humans mm. as a species, as what we are, just as every other animal and mm. everything else here. Mm. I hate humanity and what we have created through it. Yeah. Very fair. Yeah. Because okay, cool. that's kind of that's kind of all humanity is is mm-hmm. all of the darkness and hatred and everything wrong that we can do and what we've caused. Yeah, instead but of building each other up, huh? Like like for the know, most part. And everyone knows and a lot of people are like that, but humans as animals, as our people, are mm-hmm. good. Yeah. And but humanity has caused otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted yeah. to get your guys' reaction. <laughs> but um, thank you guys. You guys are very welcoming. I appreciate you. Yeah. And um, is it okay if I post this on my YouTube yeah. channel? Yeah. And uh, you guys could go back and look at it. And then... Can we get uh, the link? It's my birthday. It's your birthday? <laughs> well, what do you want for your birthday? Um, you the link to this. <laughs> okay, I'm the link. <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. Uh, well, let's wrap this up, and you guys can give me your name or nickname or your crew name or whatever. Ooh, what, 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 shout out, shout out. Uh, yeah. This is technically the ASL club. Yeah, we are the ASL club for on we, campus. We're the Quest at ASL club. I don't know what ASL means. ASL, American Sign Language. American Sign Language? Yeah. Oh, I gotta go check you guys out sometime then. Yeah. Okay, what, what room yeah. is it? Or? Uh, it's with Eric Tucker. It's in mm-hmm. room, that corner. You, you do, no, I don't know what room. I don't know what room. Room. Technically, it's next to the. Yeah, so I'll Google it, it or I'll find, I'll find oh, yeah. it. it. But yeah. thank you guys. You guys have a good one, and uh, it will be on Baby Ness, <laughs> Baby N E S S. And uh, please subscribe, and that will oh, support yeah. me. And when I get rich, yeah, I'll look like out for you. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys have a good day. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's right, bro. <laughs> yeah. Listen Make sure to, to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and stay tuned for the next video. Click, uh, click die, the bell to find out more. Man. <laughs>